Well, good morning. So, uh, super snowy day here, and uh, we are at the elevator. Haul on a few loads of canola. I hauled three yesterday. Got one, only one today, and then that's good because the roads are getting real bad. Uh, just waiting for the dude with his fancy probe machine here. So the way it works, pretty standard with all elevators now. You drive in and then you drive into this fancy Canada arm looking thing. And uh, <clears throat> they'll shoot that over, stick it into the grain, take a sample out of each hopper, drive forward, do that trailer. And then uh, by the time you get up to the, to the pit, they'll have your sample done and uh, you can just usually unload. I thought winter was over. Okay, lights on. Push. That went the other way for sure. That one when you want to shoot it. Ooh, out of sight. Okay, now push that one when you want to shoot it. It went the wrong way. I think you're gonna need the side by side or the quad. You can't oh, even see it. I don't think it. you'll make through there. I saw a rock. That's Did you see it? Yeah. I thought it was right there, no. but just above the trees now. I was wrong. I saw mine. Half the trees come down, middle field. And you get to shoot it. now. Just wait till he's yep. up. Okay, push that one down. You gotta push this one. Down. I gotta push that one down. You push that one and she'll push the other one. Okay, the light. Whoa! Oh, well, good afternoon. So I uh, I hoofed her quarter mile through the knee deep snow to get Buddy's rocket. Oh, and then we launched it again, and it went up. And then it went to the west, and I was like, yeah. And then as soon as the parachute opened, whew, she took off to the east. So I have to another quarter mile back to the knee-deep snow to get it again. And uh, now we're done with rockets. Uh, Emmy's rocket that, uh, well, it was supposed to go like 1,000, 1,200 feet. I'm pretty sure it did, and I think it probably just exploded when it, because we didn't, we didn't see it. Like, we, we just seen a trail of smoke. And then we all stood there looking at each other. Uh, and then, of course, I painted it yellow, thinking that was intelligent, but I guess it probably wasn't. I should have painted it black or green or something, because, yeah, we could not see it at all, and it's gone. So, thankfully, those things aren't all that expensive. I think there was about 100 bucks. Uh, not that I just like to launch $100 bills all over the place, but uh, what I meant by that, I think the whole kit was 100 bucks for the two rockets and the stand and everything, so... If we're down one rocket, lesson learned, we're very novice rocketeers, so, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Maybe we'll find it in the spring. Uh, fortunately for us, we own, like, a few quarters there. Of course, it is made of cardboard, so if we find it in the spring, and the water hasn't already washed it all the way into the ditch and down into the river, I guess we'll, uh, <clears throat> we'll find a pile of yellow cardboard. But anyways, back to, uh, Back to actual real work things. So uh, Corey was plowing snow with this beast there a few weeks ago and she come rolling in. So I had mounted a light bar at the top and uh, we faced it forward in the uh, in the winter for plowing snow. And then I flipped it around and faced it backwards in the fall for when you uh, are trying to get augers into the bins in the dark. So she come rolling back into the yard with a light bar in her hand 
and I was like, oh boy. So she had totally thundered the roof up there, you see? Like she she was snow plowing and I don't know why she decided she should snow plow into the bush, but she did. And uh, yeah, busted that all the, all the heck. So that's all wrecked. Uh, fortunately, we could get a new green cap, about 700 bucks. And uh, the black part I couldn't get, but I'm still looking. The problem with these 4440s, all the tractors this age, they're all broke, so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to fire it up, get it over into the shop, get the roof off, make sure there's not a whole bunch of other damage because uh, <clears throat> you just you can't have big holes in the cap of the roof because the snow gets on there and it melts and then the water runs in there and pretty soon everything's going to be wrecked. So it has to be fixed and we're going to do that here today. So hopefully this old girl, the cord is here, but it's it's uh, it's not plugged in in the shop. So it's just, just plugged into nothing. So I guess you could maybe call this a cold start. I like to give her a shot of ether just because. Also, we got a uh, brand new shiny alternator, one that hopefully doesn't explode the battery. Also got a brand new battery. And uh, the great thing about this, so I was fortunate enough to blow up all of the lights when that was overcharging. So lucky for me, now I get to take them all out. I do not believe you can change the bulbs in these ones. Uh, and we got to take all the caps off of those and change all the lights. The only lights that didn't blow up for some reason were the lights in the dash. And I'm assuming there must be some sort of a safety in the stoplight ones because they didn't blow up. So the signal lights don't work. Four-way flashers don't work. The, uh, these lights in the back, they blew up also. And these lights in the front blew up. So that uh, alternator overcharging, let's see. So about 200 and some bucks for the alternator, 180 bucks for a new battery. And uh, I bought a pack of LED lights, so about 200 bucks for four lights. So my video that I did the other day, yesterday, I think, or the day before, about the millionaire farmer, uh, yeah, it all sounds great. Ed, you pointed that out too. You put it all on paper and you're like, holy cow, farmers are raking it in. But uh, right away, uh, because farmers are usually heavily invested in equipment and uh, doesn't matter if it's new equipment or old equipment it breaks down so <clears throat> right away you're out hundreds of dollars uh in, in in repairs and stuff like that and stuff like an alternator overcharging well i guess someone could say well that's your fault you're an idiot um i'm not sure how it was my fault uh or or how i could have prevented it but uh my point to that is sometimes not sometimes, most of the time these uh, repair bills are, they just happen. The farmer doesn't want them to happen. Uh, he actually works pretty hard at making them not happen because they are tremendously expensive when they do happen. So uh, anyways, that's, I'm just kind of rambling now, but uh, I gotta move my, uh, my dad filled up the skating rink coat. I'm just moving that out of the way because when they're done, of course, him and the kids went GTing. I guess it is Friday afternoon, so why not? But there's work to do, so I will do the work. My new roof is right there. I'm going to back this backhoe and the water tank out, drive my 4440 in, and then put the backhoe back in here. We got our 2394 out. New cab, new oil sender, new starter, new, new, new. We uh, new rad in there too, actually. We got quite a bit of new stuff going on there. But I needed it to run the grain back yesterday to haul my canola. Try to make some money to pay for all these broken, broken things. 